The sheer gargantuan nature of video game production means there's always a ton going on beneath the surface of even the most basic game that we, as players, simply have no idea about. And while much of that is nothing more than the technical guts of a game that won't interest most players, developers will often take the time to include sneaky secrets and easter eggs for fans to actively seek out or just accidentally stumble upon. Every so often, these secrets won't so much be cute nods or references for fans, but genuinely free freaky oddball flourishes that'll leave you wishing you hadn't even bothered looking. These games, regardless of their genre, all thoroughly creeped out players with their most eerie and ominous secrets, from game-changing pieces of lore to insane cut content, crazy glitches, and everything else in between. So with that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 creepy secrets behind classic video games. Number 10, the zombies' screams are actually cries for help in reverse. Half-Life 2. Half-Life's common zombie enemies aren't especially creepy on their own, shambling around clumsily at low speeds such that even unskilled players shouldn't have too much trouble taking them down in small numbers. But there is a horrifying secret ingeniously hidden within the blood-curdling screams of Half-Life 2 zombies, which, remember, are just poor humans who've had head crabs attach themselves to their heads to use them as hosts. If you take the zombies' seemingly nonsensical screams and play them in reverse, it reveals that they're actually screaming, Oh God, help me, please help me. <laughs> God, help, help me! Granted, the zombies don't actually sound like they're having a whale of a time when listened to in-game, but this confirms that the poor victims of the headcrabs are entirely conscious of what they're being made to do, and worse, what you're doing to them. Number 9, the terrifying hidden Link face mask. The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Removing assets from a game's files during production risks developers causing cataclysmic and unforeseen errors in the rest of the game's code, and so they'll often simply leave the decommissioned assets lying dormant within, as was the case with The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. But with fans being fans, they'll always relish the opportunity to take a dive into the code and see what they can find. One of the most interesting discoveries in Majora's Mask, and certainly the most unsettling, is the presence of a child Link mask and its grouping in the game code suggests it was originally intended to be worn by antagonistic trickster Skull Kid. Modders have even been able to edit the code to make Skull Kid wear the Child Link mask instead of Majora's mask, the results of which are absolutely terrifying. With its off-puttingly chipper demeanor, it's truly haunting and obscenely creepy. Number 8, All the Cut Monsters, Silent Hill. Though the original Silent Hill turned 20 years old this year, only in recent times have hackers been able to discover the full extent of the game's content, due to the complexity of how it stores and indexes its textures. The big discovery revealed that Silent Hill actually contains seven secret enemies on disc, which don't appear in the game's story at all, and each of them are grotesque abominations based on actual animals. The monsters include horrific iterations of frogs, monkeys, ostriches, snakes, manta rays, butterflies, and chickens, each lent a distinct mutation like only Silent Hill knows how. The chicken, the largest of the lot, has been speculated to be a scrapped boss. Though the enemy models have no AI routines programmed in, modders have nevertheless been able to import the monsters into the game and interact with them. The results, evidently, are fascinatingly disturbing for fans of the series, and further affirm the franchise's penchant for making players' skin crawl in the most unique way. Number 7, The Forgotten Crypt is massively multiplayer nightmare fuel, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft boasts one of the most richly lived-in worlds in video game history, and so it's little surprise that there are a number of planned locales which were ultimately scrapped, though few would ever expect them to be this accessible or this pervasively creepy. Back in Vanilla WoW, the Forgotten Crypt was an infamous Phantom Zone, which players could only access by dying close to the gate and glitching through to the area. Though the crypt is clearly unfinished, there's one area which is especially notorious among fans, the Upside Down Sinners, which contains dozens of humans hanging upside down in water with ropes tied to chains. It's deeply creepy, to the extent that fans speculated its excessively macabre mood led to the entire crypt being dumped, even if the former WoW community manager suggested it was more likely the dev team simply decided that they didn't like the area. Number 6, The Inescapable Miner's World Condemns Mario to Death. 
Super Mario Bros. The original Super Mario Bros. contains a secret minus world which can be reached by executing some tricky movements at the end of World 1-2. This will take players to World Minus 1, which has the exact same layout as the underwater level World 7-2. The kicker? It's impossible for players to beat the level due to a glitched final pipe, which simply sends Mario back to the start of the level. As such, players are forced to repeat an endless loop until they either succumb to enemy attacks or run out of time, making a game over literally inevitable. Though not as strictly horrifying as the eldritch abomination of Silent Hill's scrapped monsters, the idea of taking poor old Mario and sticking him in an inescapable death loop is cosmically terrifying in its own way. 5. Mr. Friendly, Half-Life Because the whole secretly tortured zombie revelation wasn't traumatic enough, fans who dug through the files of the original Half-Life discovered a cut enemy going by the name of Mr. Friendly. The terrifically unaptly named Mr. Friendly was a stomach-churning mix of horse and cow, the two most terrifying farmyard animals, and its primary function in the game was to devour enemy bodies, thereby explaining their periodic disappearance in-game. The creature's designer, Ted Backman, also proposed that Mr. Friendly would use its tentacles to drag the player towards its genitals and proceed to, well, you know, be friendly. He was primarily created with the intent of making teenage boys, who comprised a large proportion of the player demographic, horribly, horribly uncomfortable. Though the creature was scrapped during the final development push, its character model remains in the game alongside some basic animations, though no AI was programmed for the behemoth. Still, its sheer grotesque appearance and erratic movements are plenty creepy enough. Number 4. The Disturbing Ghostly Room, Call of Duty Finest Hour Several years before Call of Duty introduced zombies to the franchise, the shooter's first ever console installment, Finest Hour, boasted surely the creepiest easter egg in the history of military FPS games. Early on in the underground passage level, players can find a seemingly unopenable door, yet if you go through the oddly specific steps of throwing two grenades at the door, pressing the action button, and then throwing another grenade, the door will indeed open. At the end of the tunnel is the so-called Ghostly Room, a circular room with no ceiling that contains pictures of children and cats being hung on the wall. While a small tank and small plane can be seen moving around the room, and there's a cradle with the ghost of a young boy sitting in it, and most disturbing of all, a gigantic rat in a cage. It goes without saying that this all conflicts massively with the more realistic tone of the game otherwise, even if 99% of players have never even seen it. Number 3. The real-life murder of a Russian ambassador is depicted, Telltale's Batman. Telltale Games got in big trouble a few years ago when reports emerged that the second episode of their Batman The Enemy Within series, The Pact, incorporated an image of the real-life murder of a Russian ambassador into a piece of game art. When Bruce Wayne and Alfred are researching crimes, an image of a robbery shows the corpse of Andrei Karlov, the Russian ambassador to Turkey who was murdered in an art gallery the year prior to the game's release. The award-winning image was photoshopped to crop out the gunman, change the decor of the floor, and add a bank vault into the background, though Karlov's corpse is still totally identifiable in the foreground. Telltale quickly responded by cropping the image in a patch, though fans were both fascinated and appalled that the company had such slack QA measures in the first place. Telltale predictably offered little comment on the incident, while many fans criticized them for most likely outsourcing assets to freelancers. Number 2. A Camera Hack Reveals That Lisa Is Always Behind You PT Kojima and Del Toro's Silent Hills teaser PT is one of the scariest video games ever made, a visually stunning and distressingly atmospheric survival horror game where the player investigates a haunted house while being assailed by a ghost known only as Lisa. Playing the game as intended is anxiety-inducing enough, with the ever-present feeling that Lisa is breathing down your neck, a fact that was quite literally confirmed recently when a player hacked into the game's camera system. The hack revealed that as soon as the player obtains the flashlight, Lisa will attach to their back, creating ambient shadows on the walls, which imply she's always behind the player, because she is. 
Furthermore, by locking the camera in place but walking forward, the hacker reveals that they can effectively control Lisa due to her following the player's every move. It is a sublimely eerie and wildly imaginative technique to constantly keep the player on edge, and while a peek behind the curtain could threaten to demystify the entire experience, it honestly just makes it that much creepier. Number 1. A reversed music track reveals a haunting, depressed monologue, Celeste. Celeste was one of 2018's greatest video games, serving as both a devilishly satisfying platformer and an uncommonly thoughtful meditation on depression and anxiety. But perhaps the game's most evocative engagement with mental illness is actually hidden in plain, somewhat unnerving sight. A few weeks after Celeste was released, fans started to notice that the mirror levels not only played the game's main theme backwards, but also included a hidden message. By playing the audio in reverse, it revealed a woman speaking frankly about her experiences with depression in a manner both ethereal and deeply haunting. For anyone who vibed with the game's overall message, it's an emotional ride, if also one that's sure to leave players more than a little unsettled. And there you have it folks, 10 creepy secrets behind classic video games. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at usly.dogu. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.